Welcome back to the positive paper discussion of the subject, digital system design using Verilog. So this is applicable for third semester and some university they will be doing for other higher semester as well. So moving on to the discussion, this is a first part of the video. So I have taken the previous year question paper and we will have the discussion individually. So first in the foremost, you can read the question. Uh, what are the combinational circuit? Okay. So you might have studied about the sequential and the combinational circuit. In the combination circuit, normal gates, okay, then uh, like adder, subtractor, those normal circuits are generally called as combinational circuits. And give the example, some examples you can give, half adder, full adder, then explain the combination circuit with a block diagram. So basic block diagram of a combinational circuit. Sequential circuit means uh, like a flip-flop, latches, all those things are generally called a sequential circuit, counter, Johnson counter, all are comes under uh, like a sequential circuit. This is a combination circuit, normal type of adder, subtractor, everything we can call the combination circuit. Let me uh, tell you the, <clears throat> the basic uh, features of a combination circuit. As you can see, uh, this is a basic structure of a combination circuit. So we need to write, write down the definition which carries one mark. Then one or two examples also you can mention. So combination circuit, which is having input and output, x0, x1, x2 up to xn are inputs, y0, y1, y2 up to yn are called outputs. There is a relation between output and input, y is equal to function of x, y is equal to f of x. So you can draw the simple block diagram and have the explanation. The total marks which is awarded for this question is 4 marks. So you can plan the answer accordingly. Question number 2. Question number 1b, not 2, question number 1b. Uh, define the canonical form of the representation and solve the following equations using, using canonical forms. SOP and POS you might have studied, right? So you need to solve this particular thing and convert the thing into canonical form. So let's see the answer of question number 1b. I request you to pay the attention. It is better to mention, like, a, give the basic definition of a canonical form. SOAP and P, uh, POS and SOP form. So P, uh, the first one is actually, this is actually a product of some, right? Then we can see the other one also. Then these are the representation. The answer, ultimate answer will be uh, shown here in this fashion. You will be getting three and a half marks. Okay, kindly go through the answer. Please verify once. These are the numerical part. Please verify. Yes. The second part belong to this particular answer. So look at this. So you need to solve accordingly. So ultimately, this is your solution. Please solve it carefully. So kindly verify it. Do solve. Then only you will understand. Okay. Step by step, you can solve once so that you will understand the concept. You might have solved in the class. Please verify this answer. You can take the screenshot or some for your reference. You can take the screenshot. Okay, question number 1c. Simplify the following Boolean function using Karnoff map. So d is equal to f of x by z. That is equal to uh, sigma m0246. Very simple only. It's not too complicated. Okay, so let's solve this question. 4 plus 4 marks, which carries 8 marks. Question number 1c. See, uh, you can use the cam app. You should know the, first of all, you have to decide how many bits are required. Okay. So here you can mention the input and output. See, accordingly, you can uh, put the number, either zero. These empty spaces, you can put zero. Then uh, you can do the grouping also. There are different laws concerning for the grouping that you have to follow up. Okay. So here, the ultimately, you'll be getting like the set, set. That means the set bar. You'll be getting set bar or set dash. Okay, that is the answer. The second one also same manner. So empty spaces, you can put a zero or X, whatever it may be. Zero, you can put. So remaining, you can do the grouping. There are two groups available here. Ultimately, uh, the uh, you can uh, do the summation. Okay, if these two things you can consider. Okay, I think it's very clear. Uh, these are the methods how to solve the uh, like the function using KMAP. Okay, you can find out the suitable solution. Simplification can be done. Question number 2a, define KMAP, solve the following using KMAP. Define KMAP, question number 2a. So definition, it carries one mark, okay. So again, uh, there is a simplification. You have to decide what is the total number of bits required. Okay, you have to decide because 16, up to 16, you have to make, you have to take care. Question number 2a, look at this. So from this particular table, you, you have to follow the rules. 
how to for, uh, form the KMAP. Okay. Then do the grouping. Okay. So different, different groups. How many groups are there? One, two, three, three groups. Accordingly, you can uh, get, the, get the answer. Okay. You mark the particular group. This is one group, two groups. Okay. Like this. These are the two groups, not three groups. So two groups you can make and you can get the, uh, like the solution. Very easily you will be getting this much of marks without any, like a second thought. You can directly move on to this particular uh, question without any other second kind of uh, thought. Question number two, A2. That is, uh, again, I have to solve. Okay, same method, same method. Okay. So same fashion, uh, like uh, first of all, you have to fill the table. Okay, then uh, wherever the things are there, you have to put one. Other other places you can put zero, then do the grouping. Here some separate groups are available. This is a common group. Apart from that, like this also, I put the group. See, look at this. This is another group. Correct. So like that, there are three groups available. So that, therefore, uh, the answer will be like uh, C bar, uh, D, B bar, plus A bar, D, B bar. Like that, you will be getting the answer. I request you to verify once. This is a method. Very clear cut method is already given. Accordingly, you have to solve and identify. Okay, I think uh, question, questions are clear to you. Now, question number uh, 2B. Uh, define Kuhn, Muskie, uh, Kuhn Mukluski method and solve the Boolean expression using Kuhn Mukluski method. Definition carries very less marks. One or two marks you will get it. Remaining, you have to solve by using Kuhn Mukluski method. This is another method of like solving these kind of functions. Okay, question number 2B. Let's see how the question number 2B. Yeah. So here what you can do is, okay, definition. Definition carries one marks. Okay, uh, now you have to solve accordingly. That Mukluski method, you can uh, make use of that and you can directly solve. Please go through the different stages. Stage number one, we have we have stage number two, then stage number three, like that we'll be getting different stages. Okay, so ultimately what you will get is, uh, so you'll be getting like uh, B bar C plus B C plus A bar B bar. So this is our ultimate solution. If you want, you can verify using KMAP also, like that. Uh, like that, you can solve KMAP and you can verify. But uh, the question is actually uh, Mukluski method. So try to solve according to this method only. Okay. So usually you can uh, score like a full marks. Question number 2B is also clear. Now I'll be moving on to C. Question number 2B, follow the steps. This is not completed. So we follow the stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Okay. Which carries uh, two marks. Then stage four also, it is reaching to stage four. Then uh, like decimal min term. So ultimately, you will be getting the solution like a k is equal to x dash z plus w z. Okay. So this is the ultimate solution. Okay. So please go through all the steps accordingly. I'll be showing you the steps once again. Uh, see, look at this. You divide it. You are uh, doing the operation in different stages. So like the formation of this kind of tables. Afterwards, again, your simplification for each and every stages. Ultimately, uh, we need to find out the solution is equal to x, x bar set plus w set, which carries half marks. So altogether, how much? So altogether, you will be getting 10 marks. So easily, you will be getting 10 marks. Okay. So question number 2B, there is no other doubt. You can directly go ahead with this particular question and you can get the full score. Question number 3A, explain the binary address with the KMAP and logical representation of equation uh, for sum and carry. Question number 3A, uh, explain with the help of a suitable example. That could be better. So the summation and the carry, these are the inputs, okay? Uh, you can so use the cam app. Ultimately, you will be getting the solution like this, okay? Uh, XI, uh, like, uh, so you can uh, get the solution in this fashion, okay? So give the example of like, oh, this is a full order, right? So you, uh, you can use uh, the cam app and you can solve it. Question number 3B. What is question number 3B? Explain the carry look ahead adder with the general and uh, sigma block. Here this is a theory part. Here what you are supposed to do is you have to explain with the help of a block diagram. So this block diagram need to be drawn. Okay. So here are the different segments you have to mark. These adders, look ahead, carry generator. So these segments, P1, G1, P, P0, G0, all the things are for corresponding input, everything you have to mention. Logic diagram also you need to draw with a suitable explanation that is required. So you can make use of logic diagram using XOR and, and gate and uh, OR gate. The, uh, accordingly, you have to place it clear. So you manage it accordingly and uh, present neatly. So this is what I expected. This is what uh, you are expected to perform in the examination. Question number 3C, uh, explain the working of the decimal adder with the neat block diagram. Take example of binary code division addition, BCD addition. Question number 3C, I'll be showing you the solution uh, look at this. 
So general block diagram, you can mention here, how, how, how about the binary uh, adder, okay? Uh, then you can mention brief explanation, okay? Each carries two marks, two plus two, four marks. So this is a division actually. You can go through that, you can confirm it. So refer your notebook also, if you are having the better solution than that of this key, you can go for, go ahead with the, it's a handwritten, handwritten notes. So in spite of that, if you already having the simple method, you directly go through that particular simple method, that would be much better. However, you can, for your reference, you can uh, watch this video. If you want, you can take the screenshot and for the future reference, you can refer it. Okay. So remaining uh, like uh, questions, three questions, uh, like two more sessions, I'm planning to complete this question paper. Remaining two more sessions will be done in the next week. I'll be completing soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any queries related to this presentation. Uh, have a happy learning. Prepare well for your examination. I wish you all the very best for your exam point. Thank you.